hello let us going to start a no control scroll bar let us take a look on the scroll bar scroll bar is mostly used to set any process between minimum to maximum value let us see the details it is user interface object appears as a slider control a scroll bar provides a convenient way to select from a range of values that is minimum to maximum it has adjustment value change event that is you have to write a method adjustment value change or you have to override the method adjustment value change and the listener is adjustment listener it is very simple control let us take look at the properties it has orientation vertical or horizontal you can choose scroll bar between these two vertical or horizontal this is a constant you can use a vertical in capital letter or horizontal in capital letter by default whenever we change the scroll then it will return the value the value of the scroll bar is by default zero the minimum value is 0 and the maximum is 100 you can also set a unit increment or block increment unit increment is by default which is increment by 1 by 1 whereas the block in increment is increment by 10 okay it is very a simple control let us see the example You have to first import java.awt.star and as well as for event, we have to import event okay. Now here we have only two controls, one scroll bar and one text box. Whenever we change the scroll value then that value will appear in a text a text field okay your program must be extend from frame or applet as per your choice or as per your requirement it must be implements adjustment listener okay now we have here control before that we have to must take up or assume a panels two panel then one scroll bar one text field okay now write a constructor build a panel first panel and second panel after that write a scroll bar the syntax of scroll bar is okay you have to first set here orientation suppose here we want horizontal scroll bar then scroll bar dot horizontal it is a constant after that set a initial position of thumb then initial uh, initial position or uh, uh, initial size of thumb minimum size and maximum size okay again let us uh, take a look on the constructor here you have to first assign a orientation horizontal or vertical then initial thumb uh, position then followed by initial size of thumb minimum range and maximum range okay okay then place s to p1 panel 1 and place text field to panel 2 before that let us set the layout for this for scroll bar you have to write a or you have to use a layout then only you will get the particular or appropriate output 
suppose here I take grid layout, one row and one column. Same for P2 also. Okay, now add S to P1, P2. As well as here we have to set layout to frame also. Therefore, set layout here. We want border layout. You can choose layout as per your choice, as per your requirement of program. Then add P1 at the top bot, top portion of the frame. That is, did you remember? Dot what? Top position means what? North side. Very good. Right? And bottom position means south side. Okay. After that, let us give the event as this here we have seen event is adjustment value change classes adjustment event okay here we simply want to place the initial or current value of scroll in text field therefore t dot set text in bracket the value is integer therefore pass it integer dot to string in bracket the value of scroll control therefore s dot you can directly use a method get value that is the current value of scroll okay and now write a main call the constructor Okay, let us see the preview. One bracket is remain. Oh, here we didn't assign a listener to a text uh, scroll. Is dot add. adjustment listener in bracket this that is assign a listener to a control here let us check the spelling adjustment value change okay all things are fine Add adjustment listener, okay. Oh, I'm very sorry, it's my mistake. What happened? Adjustment value change. Adjustment is also spelling mistake. Okay, now let us see the preview. If you change the scroll, then this value is appear at the bottom side. Let us flip it. P2 at P2 at north side and P1 plus at south side. Oh, 
it look like looks fine okay okay the maximum value is 99 that is 100 and minimum value is 0 the initial position of thumb is by default i think 1 therefore you will only get the last value 99 not 100 okay like this you can check a scroll let us create this program or let us change this program here let's add one more scroll bar this is s then one more is s1 we want here vertical therefore right here vertical the thumb position thumb size minimum and maximum value is same now we have to take okay here we have two panels then add s and s1 okay now here how to place text field suppose the panel p2 which one hold scroll bar 2 it has is side okay p1 is at south side and the text field let us uh, place text field at center and now here display the value of text field 1 as well as here write a plus then concat the comma after that we want to display value of text field uh, uh, scroll bar 2 also okay do listener to s1 assign listener to second scroll okay let us see the preview yeah right now if you change the for example x axis then only the value of x axis get changed and if you change the y axis then y axis get changed okay got it like this you can use a scroll bar by using different logic different different logic different different way okay let us see one more example test scroll color again here we want Suppose here I copy all this. Here we again have two panel. We need only single scroll, therefore remove S and one text field. Okay. Here we have one more object of color. Suppose color is color dot red yellow okay here we have array of color of 1 2 3 4 5 colors okay that is c is a array of color therefore here write a bracket 
okay here we want to if uh, we change the scroll value of scroll then by default the value of text uh, back color of text will get changed this is our logic let us create the program let us implement it the name of program is text color scroll color okay again build the panels now here also we want horizontal scroll and one text field now give assign listener to a scroll okay and here also we want to set a layout now add the controls to panel add text for text field okay now here also set layout suppose here we have grid layout we have two controls therefore number of rows are two column is one you can also give here horizontal and vertical gap okay then add first p1 and p2 okay now let us create a event but here we want a we, we want to change a back color of text field by using but here we don't have a maximum size as a hundred because we only have a five colors. Therefore, you can give a five. Now let us change the. You can also uh, display here the value. It is fine. But here we want main logic. We want to change the back color. Therefore, t dot. in bracket c of i before that let us create a global variable i which is set at to a zero okay but here we will get some problem what's the problem let us see the preview first and then we will solve it Okay, let us see, see the preview first. Oh, we can also directly assign the values of color to a color array. Okay. Now here. 
but fine. Oh, here the I is not a C of I, but here we want a value of scroll. Therefore, here write a Let us see first. We can directly assign here value. It will accept a integer. Yeah. It's work fine. Zero to four. Okay. No need to take a variable i because here we have only five colors. Let us see here. Okay, if we press this, yeah, it's work fine. Okay, like this, you can use a different, different sc scroll, or you can use a here. We have a grid layout, therefore, the it looks like big scroll bar. But if you want to avoid this, you want a small scroll bar, then you can use a border layout here or keep the small size. Okay. Now let us see the one more example. It is a example of scroll mix. Here we have three scroll bar, one label box, one panel, and three integer RGB for the channel red, green, and blue color channels. Okay. Here build the first scroll bar which is horizontal. It is the specification. The maximum size is 255. That is a range of your color range of your operating system. Then assign the event then build the scroll to assign the event build the scroll to assign the event then you have to label and panel now here for panel we set a grid layout four rows and single column three scroll bar one uh, uh, label box and add one by one control okay here we set size to a frame and call a show method therefore here in main you don't need to write this methods again now within the event we have three integer red green green and blue therefore the r contain the value of first scroll green contain the value of second scroll and blue is the value of third scroll now here call the constructor of color and pass here three values by using this what happen all these three colors get mixed and you will get the new color and that new color is set to a label box okay you can also here check the value of current value of this three scroll bar let us see the preview okay now here suppose we only change the first scroll the first scroll is for a red color it is for red the second one for green and the third one for blue okay but if you change the or if you keep this in between minimum to maximum value then what happen the upper value is also get mixed with this value as well as you can also change the channel of red like this you can get you you will get the mixed color mixture of color Okay. 
here it is also a simple example now you can also use this scroll on app applet also but for this let us see the example and in this example we use here graphics object circle then what is the purpose of this program here we have to, to scroll bar if you uh, if we move the scroll then circle get moved or the position of circle get moved okay now here two scroll two panels and we want here a x and y axis for draw the for drawing the circle then first scroll is horizontal next is a vertical add the adjustment distance to it horizontal panel vertical panel set layout after that add this panel here applet container contain the set layout border layout and place the vertical and horizontal scroll and now for graphics or for the circle we have to here paint method this method is from a awt package okay pass here the graphics object g and call the fill oval method if you set here height and width the uh, if the height and width is same then what happen the oval is look like a circle the first fill oval method call the value of x that is x axis y axis that is a single point and then there is height and weight of oval okay and now here we want whenever we change the scroll value then automatically the x and y, y axis get changed okay it means what the position of your oval will change whenever you change the or whenever you handle the scroll okay now let us create or let us check this program for this i copy it create a new file that is html we need here html file test put this so was the take a maximum size 500 500 okay now your task is first compile this program and then compile this program run it i think these two programs uh, this html file and this program is not in a single folder then let us save as this program okay now compile it and then run the html file okay if you change the x axis then only value of x get changed and here value of y gets change is the simple example of scroll bar by using graphic object okay like this you can create a different different examples by using your own logic okay thank you